Superhero party! Today is Pedro Pony's birthday. <laughs> he is having a superhero party. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. <laughs> Hello! Here are Pepper and George. Oh, you're dressed like Super Potato too. Yes, <laughs> Super Potato! <laughs> Hello! All the children are dressed as Super Potato. What fun! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Why are you blinking your eyes at me? I am using my X-ray eyes to see what is in your tummy. What? It's just pretend, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato! It is the real super potato. Hello down there! Hope I'm not late. <laughs> Where is Pedro the Pony? That's me! You sent me this message. It says, come to my party. It's a party invite. So I'm here to save the day. Who do I rescue? Nobody needs rescuing. It's a birthday party. Oh, in that case, I'll be on my way. Please stay, Super Potato. We're going to play party games. And we've got balloons. <coughs> party games and balloons? OK, I'll stay. Hooray! This game is called Pass the Parcel. Inside the parcel is a surprise toy. Which one of the players will win? Sounds great. How do we play? I start the music, the parcel is passed around and when the music stops, one layer of paper is unwrapped. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what's inside. No one knows. That's what makes the game such fun. Time to use my X-ray eyes. Inside the parcel is a toy car. <gasps> You can't look inside the parcel. That's cheating. OK, I'll unwrap it using super strength. <gasps> so, do I win? No, no, no. This is a children's game. You can't use x-ray eyes or super strength. But I'm a superhero. If you want to stay at the party, you'll have to promise not to use your superpowers. OK. I promise not to use my superpowers. Thank you. Now it's time for the balloons. Yippee! Balloons! <laughs> there you go, George. Don't let go. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Here's another one. <laughs> Who else wants a balloon? Me, me, me! I wonder how big I can make them. Wow! It's the biggest balloon in the world. Yes, I suppose it might be. Ah! She's going up. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll stop when I get to the ceiling. As long as there isn't any window open. Oh, dear. There is a window open. Perhaps I should have closed that. Ah! Ah! Super Potato, fly after her. But I promise not to use my superpowers. And I never break a promise. Save me! Super Potato, we need you to use your superpowers now! Really? I'm allowed to? Yes! yes. Okay! Time to use my laser eyes to pop the balloon! Brilliant! Now what? Um, I know! I'll use my super elastic arms to catch you! Oof! Super Potato has rescued Miss Rabbit. Thank you. No problem. I'm a potato. I always save the day. Super Potato is amazing. This is my best birthday party ever. <laughs> Pedro loves superhero parties. <laughs> Everyone loves superhero parties. <laughs> Swimming lesson. Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. 
The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. No. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim. No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah! I've got water on my face. A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, Starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a Starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Monkey trees. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. <laughs> I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance, oh, the wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. 
<laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Uh. Don't worry, I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Ooh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. <laughs> um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Oh, oh. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Pepper and George are hanging from the wire. What do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ginormous zip wire. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. <laughs> Pepper and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first, off you go. <laughs> And Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit, that was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever! Peppa <laughs> loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. Roller disco. Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Why Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going, love. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap, <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What shall we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This 
is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together. OK! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily! What a surprise seeing you here! <laughs> All day long Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good! I've got just the one! Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. Five. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next time. Potato, yes, four. I've got it ready Five to play. Potato, six potato, seven potato, four. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. Five potato, six potato, How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Potato, seven potato, more. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on <laughs> down, <laughs> disco <laughs> town. Madame <laughs> Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Skate on Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. <laughs> Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 hello. hello. What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. 
Please follow us. <laughs> Here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children? Old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! <laughs> Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> the park. Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack! Yes, the ducks! Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Peppa quack, likes talking quack, to ducks. Quack, quack. Everyone likes quack, talking quack, to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce! <laughs> bounce, bounce! George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready? <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! Hooray! My go! Uh, 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 I did it! Hooray! <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's 
a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. Hey. Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn! You just have to swing like a monkey. Look! Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ooh. You're not swinging, you're walking. Oh, <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go! Oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. George wants a go. Oh, George, you were too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. Families! Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! It is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> if everyone likes playing in the park, who's next? Nay. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing! How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure! Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it in packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? 
This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. And a sea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. 
I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves <laughs> undersea parties. Everybody loves <laughs> undersea parties. Bowling. Grandpa Pig and Grandad Dog are taking Pepper, George, and Danny bowling. Well, Pepper, I can't really say. I've never done it before. This was all Grandad Dog's idea. Bowling is fun. Try not to be grumpy. And even you might have a good time, old man. Old man? You're older than me. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Welcome to bowling. Please take off your shoes. Sorry, for a moment there I thought you said we had to take our shoes off. <laughs> That's right. Shoes off and hand them over. Everyone has to wear bowling shoes to go bowling. My goodness, what a lot of fuss for a little game. Have fun. We will. Right, this is our lane. Danny, can you show everyone how to bowl? Yes. First, you take a ball. That's right. And can everyone see the pins at the end of the lane? Yes, we see the skittle things. I use this ball to knock those pins over. <laughs> Two fell down. <laughs> Good shot, Danny. It's like magic. Bowling is actually quite fun. OK, it's my go. <laughs> my goodness, they all fell over. Yes, that's called a strike. I'm really beginning to like bowling. What's charming is how simple it is to play. You just roll the ball and it knocks over the skittles. Yes, but not to worry. It's only a game. That's a spirit, old chap. Not everyone is good at games. My go! <laughs> oh, this is too heavy. Pick another one, Peppa. Oh, this is just right. That was the first time you ever bowled! Wonderful! Now it's George's turn. Try this one, George. <laughs> and for George, I think the ramp would be a good idea. <laughs> well done, George! Yes, well done. But how come George gets that ramp, see? And I didn't. Because the ramp is for little children. <laughs> yes, Grandpa. George is little, but you are big. Yes, of course. My go again. <laughs> strike! Well done, Danny! Brilliant! I think that means we've all had a strike. Uh. Apart from me. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten you didn't hit any. <laughs> Have another go, Grandpa. OK, I'll try, but I can tell this is really not my sort of thing. But I suppose what matters is not the winning, but taking part. <gasps> Strike, Grandpa! What? That was an amazing shot! Did you see that? 
I knocked all the Skittles over. Hey, everyone! Stop what you're doing! I've got a strike! I've got a strike! I've like you said, strike. it's the taking part, strike. not winning, strike. that matters. I got a strike! <laughs> Bowling is really fun! It's brilliant! Bowling is probably the best game in the world ever. <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Hips! <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! 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 Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump,
clever piggies. <laughs> Pepper and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. Trampolines. <laughs> Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high! Not too high, Mummy Pig! Bouncing in the sky! <laughs> Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. is unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must... Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Winter games. Today, Pepper and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. 
I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, Mummy Pig skied ah! down the mountain, ah! past the shops, all the way home. Ah! And she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK. Let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Pepper and George are skiing down the gentle slope. <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, stop! Hang on a moment! Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes. Good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. Yeah. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah. all the way home. Mummy's going to hit the house again. Ah. I'm never going to stop. And on to the playground. Oh, Ooh, Mummy Pig. Mummy skied all the way here. Backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing. Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves Winter Games. Everyone loves Winter Games. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday, and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> 
here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. Ooh. I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've popped all the bubbles. We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. puff and blow. <sighs> Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um, you howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? Okay. First, you have to look up at the moon, and then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! Ow! Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wolf. Ah. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the steak house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> Masks! It is the start of another day at Peppa's Playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madam Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and colored paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. <laughs> Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. 
George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is at Clever Clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard! Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello. Here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure! Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh. 
It's so pretty and sparkly. <laughs> Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <laughs> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah, ah, ah. If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> It's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide and play. This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. 
Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck too. Help! Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. <laughs> As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. The carnival. Pepper and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Hello Pepper. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. Oh, what's that? It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! It's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. 
Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK. I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> Help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr. Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr. Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! There. Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best Carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. But we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Oh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. <laughs> oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! 
This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> 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 this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24-hour non-stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little mist of ball. Digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Nursery rhymes. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes! <coughs> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Spoon. <laughs> Dishes running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did Right. This little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in. Mud! <laughs> Very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <laughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill.
good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. Muddy festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm. What's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then... Jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. Give them big splash here and a big splash there. Here is splash, there is splash, everywhere is splish, splash. This is a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. Jukebox. Pe 
Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore! Aye, Captain! <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, <gasps> Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> a jukebox? Yes. But it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <coughs> there wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. <coughs> the rock and roll music. Here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this <laughs> is rock and roll music. Come on, George. Rock, rock. Let's dance. We're going to roll, roll, roll. <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> We're going to rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. <laughs> this is disco music. Groove on down to the disco town. <laughs> Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music, then? Hip-hop. Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa has coins. OK, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip This hop. is hip-hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. Well, I never. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Corby is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grampy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin. Thanks, old chap. This is heavy metal music. <laughs> This is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy? What is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese!
cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Oh, right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Recorders! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh! Take a recorder each. <laughs> Now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> no! oh, but that is not music, Pepper. That is a horrible squeaky noise. <coughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. Beep, 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 beep. 
We just play the notes in the right order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. Ah, stop! 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 That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <laughs> This is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, la, la. Oh, somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practicing their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Haha, <laughs> you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy, the boat is rocking about. Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! Cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. 
Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. <laughs> Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, <laughs> it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. 
I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix. Oh, dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. My we need my just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Peppa. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <gasps> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. 
Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> the castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked to owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. 
Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. <laughs> <laughs>